Hello everyone, today I will be doing a custom of this Hot Wheels Volkswagen T2 pickup that was given to me by LLX Custom Diecast in a trade box. Here you can see me painting it with a coat of primer and if you want you can read the newspaper that I'm painting it on. For this custom I will be using KRE Auto Custom Diecast wheels and some usual paints as well as a bit of chrome. So let's get right into it. All right, so I've put all of the coats of paint on, everything is cured and it's looking pretty nice, I think. It's more of a dunkel grow, which is dark gray, than a licked grow. That's a loud plane, but um, I had to order this car because, yeah, this is a big rookie mistake, but um, yeah, I painted a coat of the primer on while the windscreen was still in, I know. It was just a something, a quick um, spray to cover up one bit that didn't get coated properly, but yeah, so that got a lot of paint on it, I don't know where it is, but um, yeah, so I had to order this, and I'm having to make a big sacrifice for um, Boost because I don't even have this particular car in my collection. So, yeah, I would really love it to have it in my collection, but I'm going to have to open it up to use it for this custom. So, <laughs> let's try to protect the card out at least. So there we are, it's more of a greeny colour out of the packet, but there we are, what's that little speck, there's something else, I don't know, but there we are, These are the, this custom was originally this colour, so there we have a comparison, and I'm going to be replacing the base as well because this one's quite chipped, yeah, so and also because I might replace the interior because this uh, car was originally given to me uh, to redo by Liam Hot Wheels NZ. Yeah, this a uh, chrome job done on the engine. I think I'd like to do one in a bit more detail. That's a bit more, um, just a bit more neat, I guess. So I'm going to take the the interior piece out of this. And I'm going to use this, which just arrived in the mail, the Molotow Liquid Chrome 20 Years Edition Liquid Chrome Pen. It's the one millimeter edition, so it has a very, very fine tip. And we're going to be doing chrome detailing all over this car. So I'm going to drill this one up, and then we will uh, replace all those bits and get on with the custom. Right, I think a black, you can see it's over here drying, but I think a black base will look better and make the cr other chrome stand out just a little bit more, so I'm going to do another, I'm going to have to make another sacrifice and open my only T2 pickup. I'll pick up some more at the Hot Wheels convention in se September uh, in New Zealand, but yeah. I'm going to crack this open, get the black base off of it and make this custom, and that fell over. But it doesn't matter. I think the chrome lights look pretty sweet. You can see reflections in them. It's really cool. Alright, so I've finished all of the detailing and everything. It's all chromed up. We've got the wheels on it. I've done the rear window there with some stickers on it, just like Boost likes. I've done the rear detail, engine chroming. I've done the chrome behind the lights to give a bit of rim effect. I've done it as straight as possible. I'm doing it freehand, and if I take this off, I haven't uh, glued it together yet, 
you can see I've done the interior, uh, the bench seat and a bit of chroming to the best of my abilities. So it's got the four spoke wheels on it which looks very good. In my opinion it's just got the clear windscreen and it's in a nice clean grey colour. Very different little chrome details everywhere and I think the grey bench seat makes the monster logo show up a bit better than if it was just black on black. So now I just need to epoxy it together. Yeah let's go and do that.